Hello, this is Stuart Mackey for our social media video podcast, episode seven, LinkedIn business pages. In episode five, we talked about your personal profile on LinkedIn and how to really optimize that uh, to get the most use out of either building your business or um, trying to find a job in a new business. And in this episode, we're going to talk specifically about a business page, whether you're an individual private company or a large corporate company, you need to have a business page on LinkedIn to, again, maximize your SEO. And also, um, it'll connect back to and from your personal profile through a hyperlink. So so this right here is the Mackie Productions uh, business page. Uh, this part here, you wouldn't see if it was you were visiting someone else's page, but because I'm the manager of this page, it shows me a lot of extra things. Uh, and then there's all these updates and I have mine set up to automatically repost any of my updates from my blog on MackieProductions.com. So to create your own company page, go to linkedin.com slash company slash ad slash show and type in your company name and your email address. Now, um, in preparing for this recording, I did learn that it has to be a domain, a real domain email. A Gmail address will not work. So it has to be a company that has, you have to have your email at your domain.com, which is another reason why I strongly encourage you, if you have a domain, you should be using your domain for all your business related email. It's okay to filter that through a Gmail account for convenience sake, but the address should look like it's coming from your domain. So um, that's how I have it here. In fact, this is actually an alias that forwards to my MackieProductions.com address. I'll click continue. And then it'll tell you to check your email for a message from LinkedIn. So I'm going to switch over here to my mail. So I've checked my mail and this is the message from LinkedIn and I can copy and paste this URL. I can click here and confirm, click confirm. And then it asks me for my LinkedIn password again. I sign in. And here it is. So what I'm going to do is I have on the other screen, I recommend that you try to keep your branding consistent. So, so here's the description I pasted from the website and default language English. And it already, uh, just like on Facebook, you can have page admins. So if you have multiple people that are allowed to manage this business page, which again, this is the strength of a business page. You don't have to be giving out your personal password. You simply add another person as an administrator on this page. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, there's obviously these company types that you can put in. I'm going to put, I guess, it's really myself only and website and an industry, which is marketing, since I'm teaching you about marketing. And this is whether, um, business exists, doesn't exist, changing the status. So it's operating in 2013, which is when I started the podcast. Um, I don't have locations that I want to add because it's really not a location specific business. And I click publish and ta-da, we now have a page. We can create a post and share it. And of course I have no followers, so no one's going to see it. There it is. So that's how you create your, um, if you have a business that's more of a business, you can go in here to products and create a product for each thing. So let's do this. Get started. And this is a service. And this is a marketing service. And we'll call it social media. So there's the icon and I employee in this department and I'm going to put the same description here I would have on the 
except I'm going to add you. So. Site or iTunes. So you can put in all the features that you want to be searchable. Uh, these are all keywords that when someone searches for these words, then they are likely to find your company page, depending on the connection. And you can also put a video in relation to this product. So I'm going to put a video here and you put the URL for the video there. And when you have it all set the way you want, you click publish. So we've added a product. You can also add additional services or products. You can track people visiting your page, which obviously since they only just create this. There's no data to display, which again is the advantage to a business page versus a personal profile. A personal profile will not have these kind of analytics. And if you want to post a job listing, you can also do it on your company page. So that is how you make a company page for LinkedIn. For more tips on social media, please visit us at Social Media Video Podcast. You can find the notes for this episode at socialmediavideopodcast.com slash seven for episode seven. Thank you very much.